People used to, Christmas Carol in my neighborhood, they would come to my house even though we were clearly Jewish. <laughs> clearly, because we were the only house in the neighborhood that didn't have a giant Santa on the lawn, a blow-up Santa. We didn't have that. We had a giant Neil Diamond on our lawn. <laughs> and he would sing Love on the Rocks every half hour on the half hour. And old Jewish women would come from miles around to pay tribute to him and his hairy chest. <laughs> oh. My favorite one that they would sing to our, at our house, they would come by and they would say, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, which is very nice, and you know, we don't celebrate Christmas, but they also wished us a Happy New Year, so I appreciated that. But then, at the end, if you remember, they get really greedy. They're like, now bring us some figgy pudding, now bring us some figgy pudding, now bring us some figgy pudding. I'm like, figgy pudding? What figgy pudding? We won't go until we get some. We won't go until we get some. I'm like, guys, you got to call ahead for figgy pudding, okay? It's a pretty obscure dessert. What do you think, I got figgy pudding on the boil 24 hours a day? No figgy pudding. Got some figgy Newtons. <laughs> Will they suffice? Fig Newtons. Oh. When I was a, let me tell you a little story. When I was a kid, you could only get figs in your Newtons. And I'm proud of them because they've turned the Newton industry on its ass. I am so proud of them because you could only get figs, which is a pretty, I give them credit for that. That's a pretty bold move to dedicate your entire product line to the fig of all fruits. I've, ne a fig, I've never seen a fig outside of a Newton in my life. <laughs> A fig could walk down those steps right now and I'd be dumbfounded. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, you're a fig. Okay, okay, easy, easy, fig. I didn't recognize you without your cookie covering, but I know who you are now. I, you're more than welcome. I don't discriminate against any dried fruit, whether it be apricot or prune. I don't care. You come, you sit, there's beer in the fridge. <laughs> the fig. But then some guy, the, the head of, of the Newton, business. I think he must have taken over and wanted to, you know, change things around a little bit, take over from the old guy, the old guard, and he called everybody together in a similar hall to this probably, called everybody together. You better be there too. If you don't show up, don't bother coming into work on Monday. This guy, and this guy got up there and he said, from now on, from this day forward, anything, anything we can grind up and shove inside a Newton, let's 